Hey there, everybody. Well, I'm really glad to be back. Um, again, I'm very sorry for being gone as long as I was, but like I said in my post, you know, a lot of times families of importance and everything. Um, I'm happy to update you that so far I'm, my semester is going well, and uh, although my grandma, she's been getting better, which is good, um, but we had to get the help of a family member as a caregiver for her, so that's really, I'm really grateful for, for her help and everything, so that's good, but I wanted to bring this video to you today because, uh, I've got what I would think is a pretty special moment, um, is, uh, so as you know from the title, uh, I've got a new Eureka F and G machine, um, and, but by new, uh, it's new old stock, so that was very, very much a blessing to see that, um, and that I had enough savings to pick it up. Um, this was on eBay this week. Um, I, I think I ordered it I ordered it this past weekend, um, and I just got back with it right now. Um, this is the, like you see, this is model 1934B. Um, I have a 1934A over at my dad's house where I have the rest of my collection. Uh, but I just was like, you know, it would be really cool to have both models. I know, uh, it kind of surprises me how few videos there is on the model, the B version. Um, uh, but there are still several of them used online when I looked for this one. But it was interesting. The seller I got this from uh, happened to have uh, sold three of them new. So I don't know if he had a small pallet of them. Uh, he said he had four machines. He said, you've got the last one that's, that's new in the box. Um, but anyway, um, uh, and I just really wanted to share opening it with you guys because I, I don't know how long they've not been made or any, I don't know those things. I just know that you can't, um, that I, that to my best of my knowledge, you can't pick these up brand new. Um, so to see that and uh, and everything, I was like, you know, I, I need to pull this trigger, I think, and get this last one and um, care for it and everything. And, that, and as you already know, I love Hoover convertibles. I love Eureka machines and that kind of direct air machine. So I really wanted to open this for you guys. And uh, so I've got my screwdrivers. I got a HEPA bag for it, and uh, um, a fresh belt just in case the one on it's stretched. So, um, and up here, it's got the newer Eureka logo, you know, and the regular thing, genuine Eureka product. Um, use the genuine F and G bag, as it always says, but obviously you don't have to, but. Just as long as it's a one that fits. I think the last of these were probably from 2014, but I'm not sure. I'll read the serial number on this one. And I'll obviously I'll save the box and everything when I do this. Okay. Okay. So it is brand new, so that's great. And here we go with the um, Eureka invented for the way you clean the user manual. Uh, um, the style of the logo is a lot like my brand new Mighty Mutt. The bag, the obviously it's the gray version. Okay, middle of the handle. Oh, they have a brand new belt for you already. That's great. Um, 
I probably won't even need that. A little bit of packing. Main unit. And the top of the handle. About three pieces of styrofoam in there. Um, okay. Pull the plastic off. There's a belt on it. A 5 amp motor. Serial number is 13500108510. Maybe it's a 2013, this one. I'm, I don't know. Well, that's kind of stuck on there. There we go. Yeah, brand new. That's, that's wonderful. I will put another belt on this. This is very, very stretched right there. Oh, yeah. Because it's been on there for years. I'm going to use that other belt that they provided. Because that's really nice of them. So, yes. I, this is just such an interesting find. I simply couldn't pass it up. But I was... I felt so blessed I was able to get this. Because, um, like I said, I, I don't know how long that they've not been produced. I guess about 10 years. You know, we're in 2024 now. And... Um, I saw, that feels okay, the, I saw the only other videos I knew of were, um, the ones from, uh, where, where Phantom Vacuums was running, the different ones he found, but I've never seen one video much of anyone talking through, through it. that upside down. Okay. Well, I'll figure that out. This is just that wood style roller. Um, you'd always put a Viber Dreamer version of the roller in this. Um, I'm just going to have the regular one at the moment. Mm, I believe it goes that way, I think. Let's see. Well, we'll get it figured out. Anyway. Bag. got a genuine paper bag in it right now, uh, but I will go ahead and switch that. As you can see, that belt definitely, probably, I might snap in no time. So that's why I went ahead and put another belt in it. The belt that they provide. I'm really sorry, this is kind of embarrassing that I can't get this in. I should know I had these a long time. Well. Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, 
Maybe I'm upside down. I'm wrong way around too. Well, I'll get back to that. I don't want to spend the whole video fooling with that just yet. Put the handle on. The handle's on. Hmm, it's actually pretty sturdy, I must admit. That's how that goes. No, it goes this way, I think. Well, guys, you know, I'll just cut the clip and come back. I'm sorry for, for that. Hey, hey there, guys. Sorry about that. I just had to make sure I got everything put together good and... I confused the screws that hold the bag on there. I didn't realize that they were actually small pins that are what holds this handle together. So, obviously, that took a second of thinking, you know. It's just like my mom says, I, I'm like my dad if it's in front of me. I don't know what it is, you know. Um, but I got everything together. Um, a little bit of... It's definitely... I'm not complaining a little bit, but there is a little bit of, uh, it's like, it seems like this, uh, bag has a little, like, it's nothing, you know, because it's probably sat many, many years, I'm sure, um, but, uh, both belts that were in the package were too crispy, and then this bag, um, seems like it got wet or something, but it's not too big a deal, I don't think, um, but anyway, uh, so I put the HEPA bag in it, I put the belt that I, um, had bought already on it, and I'm gonna plug it in on camera and see, see how it is, hopefully okay, um, this is the first time it's ever been powered on, I can tell you that for sure, because everything's spotless, um, everything inside was spotless. Um, I don't know if it's gonna just turn right on when I plug it in or not, but, um, that's what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go plug it in. Okay. It's probably in the off position, so let's see if we can turn it on. on backwards first off but it's working good so that's good I just know I do because I couldn't push it easy you know I think I learned stuff but I guess you know to become a pro you have to you have to fail a lot there we go now it's on right but yeah I just really wanted to share this moment with you guys because I don't know how many of these are out there i mean i'm sure there's a i know i already saw a bunch of them used but definitely not brand new that i could tell so we'll give it a very quick run here i got class in just a second but i'm glad i stuck around oh yeah
bad at all. Man, just, I'm in awe that I could get this new. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope I see you again soon. I'm sh it'll probably be a, I don't know what kind of video the next one will be, but I really, really hope that you enjoyed this. And I just couldn't open this by myself, you know, guys. So, I hope that you loved it. And uh, I'll see you when I can. So, I hope you have a good one.